I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. This was the most common regret of all. When people realize that their life is almost over, it means you cannot go back and start again. Uh. Your life is almost over. And look back clearly on it, it is easy to see how many dreams have gone unfulfilled. A brawny wear is not writing from a Christian perspective. But if you write from a Christian perspective, then I would say that life is a gift from God and we are, we are holding it in trust for Him and for others. Then we want to be intentional how we live our lives. Coming to find your calling is more a journey of self-discovery. Very few would have a dramatic supernatural encounter like Paul or the Damascus Road. No? But I think for most of us, it's actually growing in understanding how God has hotwired us and to be a steward of your uniqueness. This is how I see calling. And that's where I try to reduce it to something that's easy to remember. Not that it's easy, but easy to remember. Uh, uh, a, B and C. What is your primary ability or strength? B, what is your primary burden or passion or whatever? And C, and this is very individual, uh, as you look at your life, what are the things that happen to you that serve as critical life incidents that define who you are? And I think these are clues that you use. And you look at these three clues, uh, you have a better clarity of maybe there's this a purpose for my life and this is what I should be investing my life in. Helping people to get some kind of idea uh, what their life is about, I think is uh, a key uh, ministry to, for myself and now with this book that's coming out as well.